I'm going to switch my tires around because there's they're uh, wearing a little more on this side than they are over here so I'm just going to switch them around if you look at this we got about three quarters of an inch and over here got about seven eighths of an inch between this line and and here so we're just going to flip them around and I got a helper here that's going to help me with that wait we're going to uh, we turn this new Milwaukee uh, one inch drive wrench we turned it upside down because the battery couldn't handle the vibration and it was falling apart battery not quite as heavy but still I don't want the batteries falling apart they're very expensive so that's why I turned it upside down put the D, the D handle or the uh, the second handle up here and you just gotta work it that way or else the, the batteries fall apart but uh, go ahead Now we gotta try the air wrench because the uh, electric, wow. one, electric one couldn't handle it. Good to have someone else doing it for me so I don't have to do it. Saca las pesas. We're going to take those weights off of there. Okay, we got a new um, tool system here is the reason I'm doing this video because you guys see me do a lot of tires. This thing here is a copy, a carbon copy of one that cost a lot more money, but this one was still $300 for this piece and this one sitting on top of the barrel or the bucket there. And so he's going to, we were doing this on, the, on my trailer. A couple of weeks ago and so he was working with me on that so he knows how to do it so but what we do is we push the top of this down in there flip that over and then we push it back down in there again and hook the bottom on here the bottom bead underneath and I may not be able to get that part on camera but it flips it all over real quick We gotta get these bottom hooks down there underneath the bead. Both sides has to be under the bead. And it takes a little practice. We just did a few tires a couple weeks ago and that was it. I'm letting him do it by himself. There, he's got it on there now.
Well, that's how easy that is, and it gets easier with a little practice. So all he's going to do is spin it around and put it back on. I forgot this little piece here. We probably don't need it on these bigger tires, but this thing here would go on the bead here and uh, and keep the bead from 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 uh, walking all the way around. But we probably don't need it. It's just part of the set. So that is that. We're going to do the other side the same way. We're going to go ahead and fill it up and put it back on. And this, I'll put a, a link on the video about this. But right here you can see the, uh, the number on the, uh, on the mounting tool. The only problem is it came a little bit crooked. The handle, I had to drill another hole and uh, put that in straight where's that other let's see if we got okay this one here's your deep demounting tool this is the most important one and there's a number on that so you can get that on Amazon look there's even a website and a phone number and this is a carbon copy of the one, I say carbon copy, it's not, this is like stainless steel or something, I'm not sure. The other one, uh, the original gold tool, this is golden buddy. The gold tool is the high dollar one, it's like $800 for the whole set, and it's brass, but the, the mechanic in my job has one and I can't see any difference between his and mine. We compared them together. There's no difference. He's only done this once before with me a couple weeks ago.